We want to take you back to that story on the deadly plane crash near San Antonio International Airport. Katrina Weber has reaction from people in the area where it happened. No one on the ground saw it coming, a small plane literally falling short of its goal and crashing onto a sidewalk not far from San Antonio's airport. Plenty of people in the neighborhood nearby, though, say they heard it. It sounded like, like a, a big crash or bomb. Danny Weir was in her home a few blocks away from where the fixed-wing single-engine plane came down around 6.30 yesterday evening. And then about 10 minutes later, I started hearing all the sirens. She initially brushed off the commotion in the 600 block of Rhapsody as a probable fire. Only this morning did she get her first look at what it was, a plane that had gone down killing all three people on board. Investigators say the two men, ages 22 and 38, and a 71-year-old woman were on their way from Sugarland to Bernie when they began having engine trouble. Today, the wreckage remained in place, waiting for federal investigators to arrive. As long as this investigation is going on, traffic is being set on a whole new course. It's also anything but business as usual for the people in these shops. Some of them showed up this morning hoping to collect their belongings. We have our office on Rhapsody. Weir also was worried for a while, but found out her office was in the clear. Still, her mind isn't completely at ease. Sad. It's so sad. But um, I feel for their family. She's thinking of the lives that were lost. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.